Dear my brothers and sisters in Christ, this Sunday's reading mentioned to a hard topic, possession and money. People often think about money as they mention to the rich because money seems to be a man's refuge especially in our time. Therefore, people try to earn money anytime and anywhere. And there are many books to guide people to enrich quickly, to earn money quickly. To be a rich is not wrong. The problem is People often think a man who has a lot of money is rich. And, and they omit many things which they should enrich in their life as well, such as uh, knowledge, dignity, humanity, hospitality, and so on many things we should enrich in our life. The parable of the rich man in today's gospel touches the topic that I told you. The man was portrayed as a money man, but he also a poor man because he had nothing except money and possession. We can see that the rich man's world is small, just him and his possessions. I think the rich man perhaps spent all his time to enrich possession. In other words, he has no time to concern to things else. Obviously, he was a slave of his work, of his possession, of his money. And at the, the end of his life, he just thought about relaxing, eating, drinking. And Jesus said, too late, too late. My brothers and sisters, Jesus, of course, asked us to try to work and work constantly. But he wants us not to be a slave of our work. There are many things that we need to concern about. The rich man in the story does not seem like a bad man. In fact, he seemed like a smart businessman. Jesus, however, points out that this man's mistake is he was thinking only about himself and his own comfort and security. When we fail to think about the needs of others, we call that sins of omission. Omission. This is a sin. In fact, today, there are many families are broken with the same reason. That is, all members of the families who have no time to concern and share their life with one another. They are living in the same house. They live beside each other, but they don't know what others need. In the parable, you know, Jesus did not blame the rich man because he was rich. But 
because he was a fool rich. He fools when he did not know how to invest his money to build relation with God and with one another. And now he learned that he is to lose his life. What good are his possessions now? Jesus says, a model of story. This is how it will be for everyone who starves treasure for himself or herself, but is not rich in what matters to God. Dear my friends, the purpose of life is not to be rich in material possessions, but to be rich in the sight of God. That is to share the wealth to those in need. Again, Jesus never condemned the rich or never criticized the having of things. His concerns was that we live and love and share in the way that show and share God's love with one another. This is truly how we will avoid those words addressed to the rich man and here rather and to the home of my father. So on the on World Youth Days in Krakow, Poland. Pope Francis calls to stop being wishy-washy, to give all for Jesus, the greatest prize. Jesus is the one praised prize. That's what we see in today's readings. In comparison to Jesus, everything in this world is vanity. Vanity. Only Jesus has ultimate worth, and only in Him does anything have value. Apart from Him, all things, emptiness, vanity. Pope Francis asked the youth, consider for absolutes, absolute honesty, Absolute purity, absolute unselfishness, absolute love. So now is the time to become a new person in Jesus, my brothers and sisters. Jesus is the great prize, the only prize in Jesus. We become rich in what matters to God. So, in the Jew, in the Holy Eucharist, we ask God help us to understand what is the most important of our life, and ask Jesus help us to be a good children of God. May God bless you all. Amen.